Um, did you ever make a new uh, card or cards, by the way, to get back to uh, Hong Kong? Yeah. Good. All right. I'm going to start you off, though, in uh, the, the um, uh, what's it called? Uh, the Australian Embassy in Beastkin land. And you can go where you want to scout shit out. By the way, an important note uh, for painting uh, skill whoring stuff, anywhere that you've actually been in that session works. Yeah, I, I read the I read the thumb, yeah. I cool. Know. Cool. Because later skills, you know, you can see something okay. once and then paint it later, but those are higher level skills. Okay. Uh, I want to go and find Dahlia. I want to talk to him. All right. No problem. You eventually find him. Uh, he's an older black man with the the uh, um, what's it called? The they're not braids. They're uh, not cornrows. No, it's uh, dreadlocks. Uh, okay. He's okay. Si sitting around uh, uh, looking at uh, broadsheets and stuff. He looks up when you come in. Uh, it's he's in like uh, one of little reading room nooks and stuff. There's, you were almost stepping over people to get to him. Um, uh, right now, give me a luck roll. Lower is better. Okay. And it begins the rolling. Just normal. Normal? There's only a few other people in the room with him. They're okay. doing their own things. Kids playing, etc. Uh, doors or non-doors? Uh, you're not sure. They're little, little human-looking kids. Okay, they're probably not doors. Then. Right now, um, I want to. Hello, like... Freddy. He says. Hey, Doria. And I go over and sit like next to him. What the? Uh, what? What? What you doing over there? Check. He says I'm just keeping up on the current events. I like to keep apprised. Uh huh. Well then, um, are you aware of the situation with um the the Cleanse in Burlington. In Burlington? Yes. No, we haven't been going to Burlington. I figure well, eventually they'll get mature and stop doing whatever it is they're doing. What are they doing, he says. Well, they took the barbershop pole out ah, them. That's not a surprise. Uh, they're, they're very angry right now. You know how two year old children are. Uh, yeah, I suppose. Anyway, uh, I wanted to ask, um, I may be able to acquire an extra barbershop pole um, to reactivate the cleanse, but I'm not going to do that unless you or some of, the, some of the doors can protect it. Would that be something you're interested in doing? No, not even a little bit, he says. Um, we're, we're happy to uh, leave Burlington to them for a while. Um, you know, until they get their shit sorted out. It could take a while. But, you know, they've just got to get it out of their system. Two-year-olds. Do you know um, about that? What, do you know who is actually wearing the torque, their identity? No, they can become invisible. Mm. Yes, yes. Well, the reason I asked is because we managed to secure the library painting. Oh, excellent. Is it here? In, he looks around. No, it's, it's in Burlington. It's ah. hidden away. But if they find it, well, you know. Yeah, they, they'll probably find it. Burlington's not very big. Yeah, so that's why um, I'm trying to figure out a way of Potentially dealing with the whole ice talks altogether. Um, so right. we already know how they work. Ah. Do we know anything else about the tower itself? Yes, yes. Um, we we had had somebody when, before we left uh, who was wearing an ice torque and died in an accident, and apparently, if you're if you're part of the ice torque clique or whatever and you die, then you come back as one of those big uh, uh, ice elemental guys at the ice tower. Huh. 
What okay. happens if you die in a zone that's not in the no land? I don't know. But I do know that uh, after we left, there was probably uh, some problems. Several people could have died. There could be a lot more people at the ice tower now. Good. You know how two-year-olds get a little bit destructive and stuff. Plus, any power plays that are going on, any infighting, you know, kids. I uh, don't suppose you um, have any way of reaching the ice tower safely besides walking there, I meant. Any Why would I want to do anything? that? Well, I mean, I'm just asking. We... The Star Wars and I, we might go and pay a visit to it one day. And... Well, I, I, that sounds very good, but uh, I, nobody could figure out how to uh, uh, get rid of it last time they were there. Well, last time they were there, they didn't know the talks or last... were bad. Well, I had heard that people went back uh, after that, after they discovered they were bad, and they were going to do something to it. And the story I got is that they had some sort of aerial defenses that came out and they barely got away. Oh, can you tell me more about those? I what don't really they... know anything else about it. Uh, it. It was overheard by somebody who then told it to me because uh, we weren't really briefed on anything. You know, the stalwarts generally do their own thing. We don't, you know, they don't come to us and go, here's what's going on, just so you're in the loop. You know. Good. <laughs> All right. Well, um, do you remember who went on this mission? No, I like I said, I heard this secondhand. Okay, fair enough. Um, any idea of how many talk wearers there might be in total? No, not a, not okay. a clue. All right. Then what is um, what's the population of Kinleyville altogether? Or do you mean just Kinleyville or Kinleyville and the other outlying towns? Uh, let's just do Kinleyville for now. Uh, last I left, it was about 2,000 people. Maybe a bit more. Those are a lot of potential talk women. Well, and the outlying towns are, you know, uh, another maybe 4,000 ish. So there's less than 10,000 people total. They do, plus they do breed very quickly there. Yeah, I noticed. Yeah. All right, well, thanks for the info. I'm guessing that, you know, they continued breeding as soon as we left. You know, kids. Uh, what can you tell me a little bit about the um, Whirlpool kid? How does it work specifically? I'm not sure. Joshua McKay knows a lot more about that. Apparently, he's got all kinds of gate magic and stuff. Well, no, no. I meant we saw them kind of appearing near it in an airship. How would they Oh, they've got the airship working. I didn't know if they'd be able to get that figured out, but we did have a number of the kids on the crew. Um, yeah, you pretty much just fly the airship back and forth through it. It's not an easy uh, journey because you have to go through sh cascading water and stuff. But, you know, the bladder really helps to uh, uh, block off some of the water. You pretty much just have to punch through it at the right angle. Right. I'm not really familiar with uh, a lot on the airship stuff. I didn't really use it myself. That's fine. I just wanted to know how they did it back then. So. Sure, sure. I'm happy to help out with any information. Why? What, what have the Star Wars uh, got going? You need the well, painting that's... back, and you need the ice tower you want destroyed. I'm wondering, though, if that would kill the torque wearers to destroy the ice tower. Well, I'm a, well I don't know. But I'm assuming that at least the torques will stop functioning, because there will be no power going to them. That's an interesting assumption. Do you have any evidence on that? Nope. I'm just cutting off by what I was told. Apparently, there's some sphere or orb, powerful orb or whatever, that gives them power. I'm assuming if we 
either dispel it or destroy it, they'll stop working. Or they might die, I don't know. How do you know it, that the power of this orb thing won't just go into the uh, the torques and make everybody wearing them stronger? I mean, magic works in strange ways. I haven't really it. thought of, about uh, this a lot, have you? <laughs> he picks up his broadsheet. What else can I help you with? Well, if that doesn't work, then we just take the orb away to another zone where magic doesn't work. You mean the, the orb that I've heard, uh, anything that even comes close to touching it, not only freezes, but the freezing effect travels along anything that is used to handle it and goes into, like, you? To freeze you into a solid... All right, good to know. Well, don't touch the orb. Um, or even getting close to it is what I'd heard. Hmm. Uh, do you have any... Um... I mean, I'm not an expert in this, and some of my information might be a bit off, but it doesn't sound like you have any more information than I do. Hmm. That's why I'm here. I'm trying to gather okay. information. Great. That sounds like a good idea. Uh, do you have any fire weapons still lying around that we might use? Um, a lot of the kids do. The kids? You know, the ones wearing ice torques running around in the home sweet home, you know. Well, I meant here in the embassy. Oh, uh, we might have a fire sword I could try to find, I suppose. Well, I have but... one of those. Well, maybe one for oh, great. one of the others I'm traveling with. Maybe he they'll looks be around. Do you have any uh, projectile flame weapons? Flame like projectiles? No. Hmm. All right. And any um, magical items at all that may help with our mission? Going to the tower. Go, going to what? Going to the tower. Um, I heard Doc Fulton used a bunch of golf balls last time. We might be able to find some of those. Uh, yes, Doc and his golfing. All right, well, if I think of anything else, I'll... Oh, that reminds me. Um, Have you heard of the uh, blue crystals down in the sewers? Blue crystals in the sewers. The um, magic dampening crystal. Uh, no, no, nobody's mentioned that. I'd heard about some blue crystals locked up in the safe here, but uh, uh, those those are uh, gone now, is what I'd heard. Yeah, no, those were different. Uh, oh. There are these. There's this cave um down in the sewers, of these blue crystals that dampen magic. We took one, we mined some of them out, took them out, and they lost that uh, dampening effect, but got some other um, kind of like a tracking effect to them, but we didn't get a chance to really analyze them too well. Would you be willing to go down, grab a few samples, and find out what you can about them, and let me know? We've uh, we've been warned about the sewers. Uh, they, I think you have some miners here that. Uh, yes, if you, if I told the miners to go with you, they know where the crystals are, as we went with them. We've cleared the way. Take a small sample, bring them back. I can dispatch some people to do that. Yes, I, not you specifically. Oh, I see. Yes. Yeah. Yes, um, I, I can. I can ask some people to uh, get them. Uh, do you know if they have any other secondary effects, though? Not really. We haven't had a chance to analyze them. I'm curious so what other properties. Like if exposed to air or left out for. Well, we we took them out. We right, took them to. You guys are immune to a lot of other stuff that we're not. Well, we took them to Gothic and. Nothing happened to them when we right. But at you them haven't had them here exposed to air. Oh no! Well, we had to have them here because we took them out and brought them up. So you don't have? Yeah. Are those pieces still around? I think Doc has them. 
Uh, hmm. Let me check my list of what stored items we have. But he gives you a long look. All right, he says. <laughs> You're just kind of flailing around now, aren't you? <laughs> All right. Um, sure. Uh, I'll go. Uh, I'll somebody go see the miners. He uh, picks up a speaking tube and whistles into it. No, sorry. Yeah, it uh, send in, send in uh, Hanks and Frederick. A couple guys come in and he relays the request that you'd made. They give you a uh, look. Give me empathy roll. Empathy. Uh -huh. They're thinking about slitting your throat while you're asleep. And <laughs> there you go. Yes, Darius. And they head off. Uh, no, don't forget to take the miners. She says, "Don't forget to take the miners with you." <clears throat> One of them scratches the back of his head with his middle finger as they leave. Good luck, thanks. Appreciate it. All right. Well, um, Darius looks at you. Thanks. Um, do let me know what you find. Uh, do you need um? What do you mean? What I find? We don't have well, any wizards here. You're the wizard. Yeah, no. What, what happened to Janet? Janet? Um, she is currently off in uh, Bakersfield uh, trying to get more books and such. Can you have her take a look at it? When she Bakersfield's comes a long way away by... Uh, it's a long way away. <clears throat> They're you still working no, on the train. You have no other magic. Users. Do you remember when they all got lost? In yeah, I know, but not all of them. Oh, yeah, no, they were looking for the source of magic. They apparently <sighs> failed to find it. They did find death, though. You don't remember any of this, do you? I do, I do, but ah. I think I just had at least two or three that stayed behind. You know, not good emergency. Ones. Not, not good, good ones. One. No, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't trust them to uh, figure out a magic rock, which kind of is what you're asking for. I wouldn't trust them for that. They're still really green and incompetent. I mean, that's what the Star Wars do. Is magic? I know. I know. But we're we're trying to, you know delegate some of these problems trying to like speed things up but if you're not able to that's fine it I gives you think. a long look Don't we're worry, working uh, on trying to get enough food for everybody right now and uh you know trying to uh spread out some of our uh, uh stuff for making things here and uh well, that's our jobs that's what we're trying to help you know if we fix the ice tower, you can go back to Kinleyville. I think we're done with Kinleyville. We need the Star Wars to find us a new home. One that yeah. accepts everybody, including elves. <sighs> Have you thought about going to not Cyberpunk, but another modern -ish area? They freak out, uh, is what I was told, if uh, elves are around. Really? Yep. Why? You like, only have races. But they don't they don't know elves are real. Is what I'm saying. I I, mean, I remember going through a long list of different places with uh Alex Kinley and eventually we came up with we need a new home. Did you discuss Shermer, Illinois? Uh, isn't that the the uh, uh, primitive place that uh, uh, doesn't even have uh, uh, good Wi-Fi? I mean, Kennedyville doesn't have Wi-Fi either. No, no, but it did have magic, and magic makes up for magic a lot. works quite well now in Shoma. Weird. Well, all right. I mean, I'm just asking. 
Did that come up in your discussions? Yes. Yeah, they don't have uh, elves there. Or if we can find an unpopulated area and stuff, we can start over there. You can Hopefully go to we Africa. Won't. What? You can go to Africa. You, you do know where Africa is, right? Well, yes, but it's all uh, uh, slagged with radiation and stuff. What? What? No. Not, not cyberpunk. Sure, my Illinois, Africa. There's no radiation there. What are you talking about? Is it inhabited in Shermer? Yeah. He just gives you a look. When I say the word uninhabited and the word inhabited. No, no, no. Look. These are well, opposites, you see. Freddy. I'm saying you can fly on a plane to an uninhabited area. In In a world that's inhabited there's probably a good reason why it's uninhabited are you trying to get rid of us quickly i'm trying to help you he gives you a long look you're getting a lot of those today and you're not sure why uh, i'm oh. just saying in this world if somebody walks around with 20 years yes you might make some look but you can just say you had some body um alterations and they'll just look at you funny and that's it we'll put it over in the maybe category he says all right well if i find anything else i'll let you know perfect all right um do let me know what happens with the crystals if anybody and... survives i'll let you know great and um yeah all right well i have um Few things I need to look at. So, see you around. Sorry. <clears throat> That's it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, next, I want to. Um, let me see. He goes back to his work. <laughs> All right. Let's. Um, I want to um, put on the face changing mask that I still have. Put that on. And I wanna go and finally take a closer look at Cyberpunk and see what's going on over there. So you're putting on the face changing mask, yeah. making a different face. Yeah. That's a tech thing, right? Um I got it from X O two three. Yeah, that's what I thought. Hold on, let me see if that works here or agents come or something. Give me a second here. Let's see. Furry Western. Does he explode? Um, give me a willpower times five roll. Yeah. Willpower times five. No. It's not a check, but it does work for you. And it doesn't explode. All right. Oh, okay. yeah. Pull out my trump and I'll find out. Where does the trump go to in uh, the cyberpunk place? Uh, the Galaxy Hotel corridor. Oh, oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys went through the whole round the corner corridor. No problem. You end up stepping through, rounding the corner. You almost run into a couple of very surprised uh, uh, Asian businessmen who are like, oh, they bow and move aside and go around you. What? Um, Great place to pop in. First thing I want to do before aimlessly exploring is oh, I'm um, aimlessly exploring ready to. Wait, fuck. All right, I need to go um I forgot to have my money with me. I need to go back to the embassy. Grab my money and then you have a card for the embassy as well? Yeah, I have a bunch of cards. All right, no problem. You pull out their card and blip back out of there. Hoping uh, you know that uh oh shit. People are really surprised the embassy scrambling for weapons and shit. They say it's you and eventually relax. You go pick up your various monies. Are you just getting the one money you think you'll need or various other monies as well? Just, um, I'll grab, let me see, just, I'll definitely grab the Hong Kong dollars. Um, I've been meaning to ask, what kind of, um, 
Oh, the type of money is it chips? What oh, kind of Hong Kong dollars? It's paper. Yeah. Type of, okay. Lots and lots of paper. Mm -hmm. Um. You can nearly oh. get paid a million dollars a year for a kind of average salary there. Damn. All right. Well, I'll grab, um, let's say, 100,000 Hong Kong dollars. How much do you have in Hong Kong dollars? Uh, 275,000. Okay. Yeah, you grab about half your money. Cool. And yeah, I'll go back now. No problem. I, yeah, you you eventually uh, managed to escape the uh, hotel and whatnot. Uh, mm -hmm. Eric Gaijing looks pretty much the same as every other Gaijing. How are you dressed for Hong Kong? Uh, I'm just in my normal kind of black. -ish. Got it. You're in your trench coat uh, yeah. matrix style. Yeah, right. yeah. You fit right the fuck in. I mean, for a Gaijing, you know, for for yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. stuff. But there are there are a fair number of foreigners around. It's not like, oh look, the only foreigner in Kowloon. No, no. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, I wasn't going to find somewhere to buy another pair of VR goggles since okay. my other one broke. Got it. You find out that the prices on various things have changed. You're not sure whether it's the riots, whether it's the zone re re. Uh, uh, what's it calling? Uh, messing about with itself. You don't know what the fuck is going on. Uh, but the new VR goggles are quite expensive. They're up to 10000 Apparently, the uh, price went up, according to the little sign after the IPO. Uh, and, of course, it does mention something about, you know, Big Brother. Hi. Uh, um... And do they sell the the ones with the tinted glasses or not? Yes. All right, I'll buy a pair of those black tinted. Of I'll course, it matches the rest of your outfit. Yeah. You do so. Okay. And um, I wanna after I leave, I wanna put them on and see basically what. I mean, obviously we have that briefing um that you kind of gave us uh what um i want to find out a bit more about the current government and how they came into power and also about the umbrella movement what are they all about give me a uh computer use role to make your goggles do what you want uh you go for, uh, do you want to go buy a coffee or something to uh no, like a coffee shop. no problem okay. um, you go to a coffee shop. Coffee is 70 Hong Kong dollars. I'll just hold this water. They uh, sell it for 50 Hong Kong dollars. You get a bottle wow. of water. Oh, yeah. Hong Kong. Oh, All right. Yeah. Everybody else has coffees, and they are cool. Yeah, water's fine. Okay. I uh, made the roll. No problem. Uh, give me a research roll to find the useful data. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, very nice. Um, yeah, there's, uh, let me give you some data here. You're just sitting in a coffee shop. You're near the river right now. Various brown water lot trash. There's water taxis going by. The streets, by the way, are super clogged up. In a lot of places, there's literally no traffic moving and such uh, a lot of people with umbrellas face masks tinted goggles and such wandering around um it looks like uh there's there's a lot of uh corrugated uh steel twisting metal rusted neon stinking garbage piles here and there because the garbage trucks are having problems getting through um Let's see, and you go into the news. There is some news. Uh, if you'll recall the different places in Hong Kong, hold on, let me give you, where's my locations folder? Fortunately, Hong Kong is rather easy from a top-down perspective. There aren't that many different, oh. 
Right. In Hong Kong, ah, Hong Kong districts, there are, there's Hong Kong Island that contains central, east, and south districts. These are nicest, richest, highest skyscrapers, strip joints, red light districts, etc. There's Kowloon, that's a big fucking park, and there's Lantau Island. This is where really super poor people live next door to Disneyland and idyllic beaches. Obviously, the poor people are not allowed on the beaches. But what the fuck are you babbling about, Kat? He's home. Be happy. <laughs> um, there's some, some sort of darkness growing in Lantau Island. Uh, in the more impoverished, more deserted parts of it, people are beginning to mutter about it becoming uh, ill-omened. Uh, people are starting to disappear there, at least three, and the cops don't seem to give a shit. Also, people have reported high-pitched uh, human shrieks sometimes heard uh, on the island. Uh, let's see, other uh, stuff. Land Lantau is also an island? Uh, yeah, everything's islands here. Okay. They Hong Kong likes it that way. And they're connected by boats, I'm assuming. Uh, there's travel. boats, and I believe there's also uh, bridges and stuff. Oh. But given how the ground traffic is is pretty much stopped moving, I mean, you've only moved like a half a block so far. Yeah. But, uh, if you if you start covering any distance, you'll probably be taking water taxi because they're super common super cheap we're talking like 10 uh yeah. hong kong bucks and uh it's impossible to really picket the uh the waterways very effectively yeah. i mean you can set up people but they'll just drown um the protesters and such are you're watching videos of the it shows it shows you're watching videos as the same shit's going on on the street but it's more <laughs> real to you yeah. the computer thing uh, the protesters are mostly college or poor people, and there is a fuck ton of poor people in Hong Kong because prices are out of control. Um, they're uh, carrying umbrellas. They often have yellow ribbons. They hand out uh, lists of their demands and leaflets. Um, you're watching one of the uh, uh, protests and such, and one of the speakers is rallying up the crowd. He's like, uh, and it shows the... the um, uh, English version, it's, it says, we face a future as mortgage slaves forced to toil for the same rituals mega corporations that sold them their tiny concrete shoebox homes for astronomical sum. The very poor have been forced to live in actual fucking cages for several generations. No more. Um, there's also uh, some clips of uh, police, and they are setting up uh, water cannons, like automated water cannons and such. Uh, there's also uh, um, other things that they're setting up that, according to some sources, are like they're covered, and they could be water cannons, but some sources are saying these are actually machine guns, automated machine guns, like big fuckers that they're setting up. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's getting, it's getting, uh, you know, and stories of, uh, police over brutality have started to leak in and whatnot. Uh, you also notice, uh, you hear a weird buzzing outside. Um, can't see I, what it I, is because you've got all these computer screens and shit. Uh, I pulled up my goggles. Look no problem. You pull down. There, you see drones going by with cameras on them and such. No clue who they belong to. They're not the same ones I saw last time we were here. Some are. Other ones. Some aren't. Oh. Okay. There, um, there's a lot of drones. Also, pretty much in like in the place that you're at, which is the built-up, super rich area and stuff, which costs a lot. But if you're going to go to Hong Kong. You don't want to go to the poor people places because, yeah, yeah. Um, almost everything you do is under surveillance from at least four different cameras. Yeah, I think it is. My yeah, well, Chris didn't when he starts wanting to steal flying cars and shit. <laughs> yeah, that's why I put the mask on. Cause... Yeah, yeah. Now you look um, like a protester. Oh, wait, right. no, that mask, sorry. Yeah, yeah, the mask. 
Um, right, speaking of um, flying cars, do they still fly around? Or they... Um, yes, uh, the super rich people are able to get away from all the gridlock and shit like that. But they're not as common, or people can't afford them as much. They're they're freaky expensive. Okay. I mean, they're like ten times the price of a ground car. And ground cars are freaky expensive. And how long has this been going on? Because it wasn't like this when we left. A couple months. A couple months. And it, how it's did it been start? building up. How did um, it start? Good question, take a card. Um, you go back to the cause. Well, aside from corporate greed, uh, apparently it, it's they had a uh, hold on a second, there we go. It all comes back to that uh, uh, handout I gave you uh, earlier. Uh, the Chinese government, uh, they've been having various power plays and all that kind of stuff. And uh, this uh, new son guy, uh, actual name Xin Hai Yong, um, he's a strong advocate of dealing with citizens who get above their station with a show of overwhelming force. Yeah. And so it all comes back to the original. And uh, I want to do a bit of research on this um, new leader, but I want to do it. I want to basically hide my i don't hide want people trash. knowing i'm doing this yeah give me, I give, me give me a um uh, hacking role this is how well am i hiding my shit? okay i mean i'm assuming uh, you don't want just the stuff that china is putting out about no, it no, no. it'll be like no, this, this is what Freddy does so this is what Freddy does so like yeah. um let's see if you can actually pull it off though because what Freddy does and what Freddy rolls are very different things. I'm going to play a skill 15. I would too, just because otherwise this coffee shop will probably get shot up by cops. Yep, made it. Nothing special, but Nothing yeah. special. oh, thank goodness you played that fucking card. Yeah. Okay, Zin Hai Young, a little bit of general knowledge. I mean, oh, uh, give me a different hacking role. You're kind of hidden. You've got limited time, you think, but you're kind of hidden for now. Give me a different hacking role to see the different uh, pots you can dip out of. Just yeah. a normal success. Yeah. All right, I'll give, you, I'll give you the normal success information. Uh, Xin Hai Yang, uh, aka New Sun, is a charismatic up and coming leader in China. Age 35, he served with the Ministry of State Security. It said he knows where the bodies are buried, so to speak. Uh, you're sure that that's just a saying and not literal. Uh, he's never seen in public without his blue uh, suit, crimson tie, and white shirt. The suit is so expensive, it's able to look understated. Um, Checking out his, uh, his speeches and stuff, uh, it's not wildly removed from what other politicians are saying. Uh, however, when you're watching one of his speeches and whatnot, give me empathy roll. Yeah. Yep, by a quarter. By a quarter. The people uh, sitting near him, like the closer they are, the more this is obvious, seem entranced and enthralled by everything this guy says. I mean, they're kind of ignoring him, like before he starts talking, as soon as he starts talking, they're like, it's almost as though Jesus walked in the room, went, oh, and everybody went, oh, um, you know, that kind of based thing. On, based on my limited knowledge of magic, uh -huh. and I tell it is doing anything to them. When he's talking. He is. He's not like, I mean, because casting a spell is super obvious. It's, it's, well, he is making a speech. Right. Part of the spell. It could be, although you're thinking, um, give me a cult or Cthulhu mythos role. Oh, because I'm really good at that. All right. Um, cool. That will help. I, a cult lore. I'm a bit better at that. Oh, by quarter. What is it? 
you're fucking great at this. He seems to almost have a magical sway within his voice. Even even the most stubborn opponents of his seem ex extremely mollified after meeting him. They're like, you know, he has some points. Like wow. dangerously mollified. Now, uh, since you've made your research roll, some more information on this guy for you to get. Uh, this guy came from uh, the best family as far as politics in China go, had the best schooling. He was groomed for leadership role at the age of three. Quite an impressive background. However, his life was not without tragedy. At age 16, his mother died of what is rumored to be an accidental drug overdose. His father threw himself into work and died, it said, from the heartbreak and loss of his wife three years later. Also, uh, new son's older brother was lost in a yachting accident. His younger sister entered a convent uh, when new son was 18 years old. Uh, now at 35, new son is considered the young up and comer. Um, there, there was something uh, that happened when he was 15, but with the sources that you've dipped into currently, you're not able to get that access to that. Uh, parent, you're thinking that somebody tried to cover up something at age 15. There could also be other deeper information that you haven't found. Um, let's see. It also, uh, apparently he's, um, you find a picture of him that shows him meeting a group of people uh, welcoming him into a uh, uh, karetsu. Do you know what a karetsu is? No, that was. Uh, it's a Japanese thing that has apparently made it to parts of communist China. It's a corporate thing. Uh, it's when you've got a bunch of businesses and they band together in um, uh, basically they they have mutual interests and then it's uh they make like a tribe and then they're against they have some allies and some enemies that are other karetsus mm -hmm. it's, yeah so uh and the karetsus are notoriously hard it's not like we all do this kind of business no it, it can i i could have like a laundromat and a uh, microchips manufacturer and a yeah, car yeah. company all in the same credit. Right, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, know, I know what this is, yeah. Cool. And uh, one of the uh, guys in the meeting, it, it, he's kind of like almost clipped out of the uh, uh, picture, but it seems to be a really young kid, maybe 10, 11, 12, with this huge blue hair. And so that's why that kind of picture caught your eye. You don't know what's up, but you know, the kid was going like that. Um, uh, so yeah, there's there's um there's information that you know you can't get to, but you're also nervous about trying it here in a coffee shop on the yeah, yeah, yeah. Wi-Fi and yeah. stuff with uh off the counter goggles and such you feel yeah. that there's other information that may be out yeah, there. i haven't built my thing yet so um right uh, but you know that the uh the company give me another research role for the company that he it's a bahamas based company is all that you found out with that you might be able to match up now you yeah. you can't right now you can't match up any of the faces uh, and there's no reference to who the kid even is. It's almost like he was not supposed to be in this shot, but somebody didn't crop it quite right or something. Hmm. So, uh, what what kind of um his karetsu? Um, what is what company is is it? Is it? Uh, that's that's part of the fun of uh, karetsus is they don't really uh, list the companies there in the karetsu. It's like it's kind of a secret or quasi secret organization right okay i understand because you know asia asia is not fucking complicated enough that's why they do it that way so he is like the prime minister or what, what is he um, he is he is an up and coming power he's he's looking to take over the company and if he does or com company country same thing uh, if he does, it could be extra happy fun time for everybody involved. Right now, I would call him a 
Uh, in Western terms, he's like an advisor for the big guy, assuming the big guy continues to live a happy, healthy and, life. And uh, who is currently in charge? Some random, faceless, fat, uh, Asian, okay. Chinese guy. So they, they're they're all kind of like that. They're interchangeable, actually. Hmm. Kind of like asking right. who, the, who the head of China is now. Nobody knows. Nobody cares. It's a fat Asian dude. So fat old men. They they're currently running the world still. Someday women will get equal wages though, but not in this cyberpunk time. But so this guy is basically from my understanding influencing the government to be more quite uh dictatorial trying to uh, more money for the rich, less for the poor. Kind of to put it well, that and also to put it in uh, Western terms, uh, hawks and doves. He's a hawk. Yeah, but right. yeah, I figured as much. Oh yeah, of course, mm. because your life is not complicated enough. Um, and uh, oh shit, one of one of the little screens you've got going because one screen is not enough for fuck. Oh please, you've got you've got uh yeah numerous screens going on one of them uh there there's uh some sort of news story where the uh newscaster seems excited um apparently there's there's been a, a disappearance and uh it was somebody important uh so uh yeah uh People, in what city uh, right. the city you're in the district you're in the rich influential part and when did that happen uh last night oh yeah um any other details like uh the guy the person, his name is leon jean okay and he just disappeared no. uh, yeah yeah it's uh the police police are looking into it uh, um the hmm. person was uh um on the board of directors for AYS Tech. Yeah, and okay. that's causing the stock price to slump by a couple of points, which is freaking people out. Mm -hmm. It's one of the many tech companies. I mean, there's, there's a lot of shit going on. Yeah. Also, <laughs> on another channel, well, one of them is, of course, uh, doing reruns of Handy um, okay. because, you know, it's still in syndication. Um, and there's also, you remember the Aliens guy? The big hair? Yeah. yeah. He's, he's on one of the uh, channels and stuff, and he's uh, uh, currently uh, talking about, uh, you know, aliens and stuff here. What the fuck? Okay. And uh, they also have a, a, a new mods you can get uh, for your baby. You know, uh, uh, like the commercial is, are you sick of how people are always saying how cute your baby is? Now from the makers of Baby Safe, skull tattoos and horns, tails, etc. All you can put on your baby today, permanent. Okay. All right. Um, Shows some lady looking into the crib, going ah, and running off, and the lady pushing it goes. Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> I wanna. I wanna have a go poke around where this guy was lost in the disappearing guy. He disappeared out of his home and stuff. Straight out of his home. Uh huh. Just it's highly secured okay. home. It had all the usual stuff. You kind of doubt you know, the the police will invite you into an active crime. Well, obviously, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna... unless, um, unless you just want to break in and go, I will solve your shit. Uh, one of the who things... is this white guy? Um, I have a question. Uh. If I was to rent a cheap room in this hotel, I have the prices for that shit. By the month. I can, 
I'm still going to have the bowl, dude. By the month? Build... No, by the day. By the day? By the yeah. day is a lot more expensive than monthly, but let me find it here. And let's see. Haha, go, go, calculator magic. Ah, the price is getting all mixed around. Isn't that good? Uh, a couple thousand a night. Okay. Um, how would I be able to build my hacking device in one of those rooms if I brought my stuff with me? Um, well, I, I went and found uh, the hacking device thing, and I did say you would need a, uh, a clean room. So assuming that Pete fucking suddenly appeared uh, from... Well, I mean, you said it, it would be a bonus. Yes, yes the, the bonus is it may work, according to my notes. <laughs> oh. Okay. You're, right. you're dealing with a lot of, like, very sensitive shit. All right, never mind then. Um, one of the things I wanted to just have is I want to locate where, because I'm assuming um, the internet, quote, unquote, still runs. There is Wi-Fi, but it has to run... Um, like with cables and fiber optics like underground, so you have speed. Otherwise, Wi Fi is not that fast. They've got uh, their Wi Fi up to the point where it's uh, super duper fast. And yeah, but the data still needs to travel like via cables. It, it, it's better if it travels by cables, but yeah, they, they've got really good uh, Wi Fi in yeah. uh, the cyberpunk world. I want to check to see um, where the cables run to and from. Basically, I want to eventually, one day, maybe, go either in the sewers or on the ground or whatever, where the cables are, and directly hack into those cables. To have the data. They try to keep all that shit secret or guarded because lots of people want to do this. Yeah, I did. It. Oh yeah, it's uh, apparently a big secret. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Um, I mean, I'm not saying you can't find it, but I'm saying that there's a whole bunch of people who want to protect the trunks and stuff. Yeah. Fair dues, fair dues. All right. Um, so there's this guy. Um, By the way, if you want a full set of clothing, including shoes, it's only 3000 Hong Kong dollars. What? Mm -hmm. It's the same price as utilities for a small-ass department. For What's the um, gold exchange rate? Oh, that's still pretty good. Uh, you can still pull an amazing 20K out of a coin, assuming you do really great at bargain. That's, that's pretty decent, actually. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. Um, I want to see if I can find either in my memory, because maybe I know something, or maybe do some online research. I want to see if there's any mention of mythological creatures that have this sort of air about them where they can influence the way people think or persuade them really well. There's a red flashing uh, uh, box in your uh, view. 